Hello, we are here today with Megan Hildebrand at the DAP Gallery. We are going to talk to her about her later show and something about her. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Hi, Efren. Hi, how are you today? I'm great, thank you. Good. So, can we go in and check yes. on your Welcome video? to DAP Gallery. It's here in Dragon Alley, which is hard to find, but worth it. It's off this guard. Welcome to my show. <laughs> So with the show, when you, you are thinking on a show, do you um, have the idea of a series of paintings, what, what are you going to do, or one painting at a time and each camera you have a theme? Well, usually when I do a series, there will be a, one piece that stands out that may be a little different from the rest of the group, and then I'll use that piece and use it for my next series and use those new ideas to create a new body of work. For instance, the new things that are happening here are um, kind of a, a foreground here of a natural tree with uh, characters and an actual uh, a narrative of birds and leaves. Um, a lot of my work has been very industrial, so I'm really trying something new with characters and narrative and combining natural with the man-made. So, I see on your team, uh, do you have like a social uh, message on your paintings? Or at least in this one I see factories, I see touring poles, um, birds, is there a... Um, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I always am uh, thinking about what, what the shapes we leave behind will say about our culture. And long after humans are gone, we'll still have so many buildings and all the things that we've done to alter what was there naturally. So I like to picture nature taking it back. So it's not necessarily a, a political statement, but it's something to think about in terms of our impact on our surroundings. Also, I see uh, most of your, uh, not most of, but all the pieces have lots of color, very vivid colors. Color is very important to you? Yeah, of course, yeah. I love it. So uh, I see that these paintings here are a little bit different from the ones that we just saw. Uh, how does your work evolve from the beginning of your career? Well, um, when I finished art school 10 years ago, I was really interested in color. As you can see here, they're still really color rich, but I was thinking in rectangles and industrial landscape. And even up till this, which is just uh, three, three years ago, this piece, um, they're just a landscape. There's no character, um, well, characters, I should say. And uh, I was thinking a lot about um, art you could see from different angles. So I would turn this painting upside down and make sure that upside down it was also worked as a landscape. Same with this one, you can reverse them. But now I feel like I would like to come back and add some animals to these paintings. I feel like somebody has to live there because they seem a little bit sad now. But that's what I did.
Okay, Megan. Um, <laughs> let's ask you, uh, who are your artistic influences? Do you have any artistic influences? I think I have a few. Um, some of my favorite painters that I studied would be Miro, Klimt, and Picasso, and Gunther Wasser, and well, a lot of great Canadian painters like um, E.J. Hughes, Tom Thompson, and Philip Seven. I love anything with great color, and um, listening to music is a big inspiration too. So music is very important to you also yeah. when you paint? Yeah, yeah, it can really can really change the path of painting. Okay. Something I hear is interesting. Good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.